Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. I'm Sim UK. This is, of course, Naughty's Home Ship Simulator. And today uh, is quite a cool day for me because uh, we have officially completed all of the tutorials, which means that I can relax a bit and just sort of enjoy a bit of exploration. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten exploration um, scenario set up. We've already done the English Channel once before, so we'll skip that one and we'll jump into this from Mordic, Mordic, Ditch to Dor Dorect. <laughs> I apologise profusely for my pronunciation of these locations. Um, we'll ping on that and start her up. Uh, I won't grab a chewing gum because when I was editing my last video uh, with all the tutorials, I noticed I was going quite a lot. So I apologise for that. It didn't really occur to me that that was going to be a problem. What I was trying to do was wet my whistle so that my throat didn't get dry because it's really difficult. You might not believe it. It's really difficult to sit and talk for an hour or two hours or three hours about any given subject. It's bloody hard work. Um, and it dries your throat out as well. So I'm just going to very quickly take a sip of water. Because I already feel my throat drying out. So we'll try and keep on top of that. Right. Um, so this is it. This is the first time uh, in probably about 10 days since I started reviewing this game that I'm actually going to get to do... Just a, a, a relaxed exploration and just look around, enjoy the scenery, not have to hit targets, not have to stay within precision guided locations. Well, actually, I say that I may be wrong because I do recall once across the English Channel that um, I had to park very precisely and uh, at that time, at least... Well, I say at that time, I was not very good at parking. Um, that's not to say that I'm any good at parking now. Um, I think we have a recurring issue with parking in this in this sim because um, it, it's hard. It's it's bloody bloody hard. So um, yeah, okay. We'll just we'll accept the fact that there may be some issues along the way, but I'm not going to take it too seriously. I'm just going to be chilled out and relaxed. And uh, just try and enjoy it. And hopefully you can do the same watching at home. <sighs> That's if it ever loads, of course. Because uh, I'm sat here waiting for it to load now. Killing time. Being patient. What I might do, lads and lasses, ladies and gentlemen. Just pause the recording until it's actually finished loading. It's almost like a sick joke that Nautis Home Ship Simulator likes to play on me. As soon as I hit pause, it loads. <laughs> it's like instantly. Right, here we are. Um, my crikey, Moses, look at this. So the route we're taking goes across the main channel, down a very tight channel here, and then up and across. Oh my gosh, okay. All right. We're in the Zonadale. We know this oil tanker fairly well. We shall start in the Central Instic Haven in Mordic. The destination is Merwida Haven in Dor Dordrecht. Go from the Hollands Dieppe through the Dorst Kiel and Oud Mass to the Merwid Merwade Merwidi Merwad. And mind the traffic. Apologies for my pronunciation. It's absolutely awful. I am fully aware of that. All right, this could be fun. This could be interesting. Let's do a bit of an external cam. <laughs> Holy cow's milk. Look how big this place is. It's just gigormous. All right, let's go full throttle. Get ourselves up and running. Do a quick spin round. So there's 
nothing behind us at all. <laughs> no, I'm going to put this on heads up. Uh, 1.5 nautical miles. Let's zoom in good and proper onto the map. Uh, it looks like we've got a few chart informations. I guess we're going to go turn to starboard here and stay right of the green boys which is interesting unless of course I'm going the wrong way I did do the tutorial on um, on um, navigation aids and whatnot and um, I think I need to do it again possibly I don't feel very confident about what I'm doing but ignorance is bliss I suppose it makes sense to me to turn right here but the boys indicate maybe that this channel only goes the other way but I don't know for sure So we'll just, I'll tell you what we'll do, is we'll keep a bloody good eye out for anything else heading in this general direction. So it doesn't look like there's anything coming from that end. If I'm wrong, if I've done this wrong, please tell me in the comments. And don't just say you're an idiot, you've done it wrong. Please explain what I've done wrong and what I should have done and why. What I've done wrong, why, and what I should have done instead. Because uh, it's nice to learn. And if you don't provide enough information, I'm not going to learn. That's, that's the thing. And of course, anyone who, who decides to have a go at this later on, um, they're going to learn on your feedback as well. So please do be thoughtful enough to share your feedback. I've just noticed, I don't know if you spotted it as well, but down there we do have... Oh, we do have a red and white boy, which I think means safe and pass any way you feel like, possibly. <laughs> I am so rookie at this. It's insane. There is a chap in the channel coming down over there, look. And he's inside. He's on the other side of these boys. Nine point two meters below the keel. I, I, I don't, I don't know for sure, but I feel like everything's fine. Ah, oh, I know I forgot to do it again. And I now know why that repeats itself. Because um, in really bad weather. Um, that is something that you will have to uh, keep on the underway thing so that other ships know that you're moving. So I didn't know that at the time, but you know, thanks to the tutorials, we have uh, gained some knowledge around that particular area. So this is really nice. I, I, I really like this. All complaints and confusion aside, it does look fantastic. Incredibly uh, authentic. 
which is exactly what I want from a simulator. So, excuse my hiccups. Whew, I don't know why every time I play this game I get hiccups. It's so odd. Right, now, there is a problem because, and I, I need to write this, uh, I need to sort of complain about this in, in the community forum. Um, okay, so I know I'm going up there and across there. No, see? Now, at this point, I'm completely lost. I don't actually know where my destination is. And it's a bit much to ask me to sort of memorise the route when I only get to see it very briefly at the beginning. So I know we're heading up here and then turning right. And beyond that, I know nothing. So, there's a very good chance we're not actually going to make our destination because I'm not entirely sure where it is. Okay, there's a big old ship heading this way. And he looks like he's turning and coming right down this channel. So, I need to get my buttocks hard over that side, I think. Or is he coming down that side? I almost feel like if I hug the green boys here, that's actually going to work out better for us. I think maybe he's going down that harbour entrance there, or waterway, or, or, or whatever it's called. Yeah, it looks like he is. Okay, so he's not actually going to come anywhere near us. Okay, good, 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 good. I cannot wait to try sailboats on this. I'm so excited about it. By the way, if you guys haven't seen... Ouch, 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 ouch. If you guys haven't seen my Sail Away uh, videos, then I urge you to take a look at them. Um, and the reason why I mention that right now is because Sail Away 3 is about to launch in Alpha. And if you are a pro member, you are entitled to access to Sail Away 3. Now, the reason why I'm so intrigued about Sail Away 3 is because back in the day, when I was speaking about Sail Away, the original Sail Away, not Sail Away 2 or Sail Away Pro or whatever, the original Sail Away, I mentioned that a simulation a simulator simulates real life experiences. And in Sail Away, there was no food for long distances, there was no damage to sails or sheets or um, rigging of any kind whatsoever. It was almost impossible to capsize the boat. The only time my boat ever capsized was when the AI was in charge of it. Okay, so I complained about all these things and people said to me, people said to me, um, that it's a simulator, um, these things don't happen in a simulator. Well, I'm sorry, but you've got your wires crossed. What you're describing is an arcade game. In a simulator, these things most certainly do happen, and they most certainly are part of a simulation, because that is part of real sailing. So I'm glad that Nautis Home Ship Simulator has already implemented some emergency scenarios where your engine might pack up and um, you know you're gonna have to emergency anchor basically you've got very little control over the ship in a situation like that you need to emergency anchor and and that's what you have to do um, so in sail away 3 I found it very interesting that they are now incorporating some of those features um, so I'm really, 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 really rather keen to uh, get my hands on a copy and uh, see, what's, see what's going on. 
because there's a lot to like about Sail Away. I mean, if you are a sailing fan and you like racing and you like getting out the sails and stuff, there's a lot of positives there. There really are. Um, but yeah, I just I found it very interesting that on one hand they slated my recommendation because it it wasn't a game, and now in the new sim. They're incorporating these things because it's more realistic. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Told you. You should listen to Sim, honestly. How on earth my channel is so small, I don't know. Who cares? I know I'm right. You know I'm right. That's all that matters. Right, so I'm turning here. Probably too much. I was actually turning hard to, to port and I don't need to yet. It's a bit early for that. I need to stay in this channel a smidge longer. And I can't actually visually see the, uh, the waterway that I'm taking. I'm pretty sure it's over there somewhere. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I just basically follow the green, uh, the green boys, and it will take me over there. Perfect. Perfect. Let's keep an eye on that sail ship in ahead of me. Quick check of my surroundings. Make sure nothing's coming up behind. As we know, the AI has zero avoidance skills. So they will just slam into me. Ah, now I can see the uh, entrance to the waterway. Just up there, look. Fantastic. Mm. It's so weird. It's almost invisible when I'm in this view. I, I mean, I can I can make out where it is now because I've just gone to the external camera and that helps me see it. But visually there, it doesn't look like there's an entranceway there, but I'm pretty sure that's where it is. We just got to be careful about that, that sailboat, that's all. <sighs> so guys, what do you think of the uh, camera views and such that um, I'm trying to implement with each of the videos? Is it working for you? Are you enjoying it? Are you appreciating it? I don't know. I just want you to be able to see all the lovely water effects. Um, I'm still I'm still haven't written my review yet, so I'm still kind of analysing the game. Like this moment here, you expect you would expect to hear some water, wouldn't you? And there's none, so there's still a lot to be done with audio. Um, but. Graphically, I think it's boring as hell. No, on point, I was going to say. On point. But graphically, I think it's very good. I like it. I know a lot of people complain about the graphics in this game, but honestly, if you're, if you're prioritising graphics over simulated realism, then you're not a sim fan. Go and play an arcade game somewhere. Someone actually said to me the other day, this doesn't look as realistic as Fishing Barrent Sea, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, whoa, gosh, you couldn't be more wrong. So I tried to explain that MISC games make arcade games, and this is a <coughs> fully fledged proper simulator in the nicest possible way. Right, I've got to pay attention here because I'm about to crush across the channel. So 
So it looks like we're clear over there. And from what I can see, clear over there. So for now at least. Just that sailboat to worry about. Is he on land? <coughs> How on earth is he on land? Oh, there's a tiny little slither of water down there. And that's where he is. Interesting. It's going to be somewhat awkward. I can't really see the channel or my entrance point, and there is a ship there. And I'm looking at his lights, and for the life of me, I can't figure out what he's doing. Based on his lights alone, I'm, I'm not entirely sure that he's sailing. I don't think he's underway. I could be wrong. No, he's definitely sailing, isn't he? But I just, I looked at his lights. Hang on. Maybe I just can't see them. Oh, I know that ship. That's the that's the uh, cruiser, like river cruise ship that tried to sink me the other week. I remember you. Yeah, don't trust anything he says or does. He is dangerous. Let's take a quick look. Nothing I can see on the port side. Nothing behind us. Starboard side looks clear. So all I have to do is pay attention to that sailboat and this ship that's coming out of the waterway. So I think I can come slightly further across now. Got a good line, a good angle. Still 6.8 metres below the hull. All is good. <sighs> so relaxing this game. So interestingly, there's no current here. I would have thought there would be. Fifteen point seven knots of true wind, eight point two knots of, of uh, sorry, uh, eight point two knots of true wind and fifteen point eight relative. So it's going to feel a little bit blowy in the face on deck at the moment. Good. Do I see a ship up ahead? No, it's a key wall. French sailing boat is stationary. And the German wannabe submarine is uh, staying well clear of me. I say that. What are the chances he's just going to do a 180 turn here? I have to keep my eyes on him. You never know with that ship. Dangerous at the best of times. Ahoy! What are you up to? I think 
we're safe. Although he's a lot faster than we are. Right, okay, I need to pay attention here because I just suddenly realised we are quite close to the edge and we may get sucked in. So, I just need to keep my eyes and my... Yeah, so if you look at speed over ground setting here, we're 1 knot and, one, and 0 0.5 knots going into uh, the shoreline here. So what we're getting is, I always forget the name of this. Shore. Oh God, I can't remember the name of it. I know what it is. So basically because there's, there's less water down the starboard side of the ship between us and the um, shoreline there it, it creates forces that push the boat around effectively so <clears throat> the bow of the ship that's the front of the ship gets pushed away from the edge um, which in turn or as well as the aft of the ship where the propeller is gets sucked towards it um, so what you, you've got to be careful that the aft of the ship doesn't swing round and bang into it basically yeah we're good we're far enough away I think everything's running fine all under control check on the map there's no secret little pop out points and uh, everything looks good Look at that house over there. I bet you there's really a house there that looks exactly like that. I hope there's a house there that looks exactly like that. That looks pretty iconic to me. I'm getting a little bit down the centre the center of this channel. Not that there's anything wrong with that at the moment, because there's nothing coming. Can't really see much behind myself, but I think we're okay. Try and keep the ship slightly to the right of centre, just so we can quickly get out of the way of any oncoming ships, like this ship up here that we can see. Hold our position nicely. So I found out that you're not actually supposed to use autopilot at all uh, when you're sailing inland. For very good reasons. Um, when you're sailing, um, when you're using autopilot, it doesn't take into account um, the forces from any external force. So wind, current, prop wash, um, that effect against the shoreline which I can't remember the name of and it's really irritating me none of that will be taken into effect so effectively you could end up all over the place so you just have to be a little bit careful Fantastic.
apologies. Oh wow, that's that's really awesome. Somebody's just um, pinged me some money over on, uh, on on PayPal. That's that's really awesome. Totally unexpected. Thank you so much. Um, I won't mention your name because <coughs> it's not my place to do so, but um, hugely appreciate it. Thank you so much. That, that kind of thing doesn't happen to me all that often, I have to say. So, um, <coughs> yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you. And I'm glad you enjoy my videos. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for uh, saying that also. Right, uh, so this chap is all the way over there. We haven't got to worry about him at all. Let's we'll take a quick look behind us. Everything looks fine. Uh, I'll just take a quick look behind us down the side of the ship so that my chair isn't in the way. And that looks absolutely fine as well. So, yeah, a nice easy cruise thus far. Lots of trees to look at, at least. Lots of open ground. Fertile farmland, would you say? I don't know. What is that there? <laughs> oh dear. I think I found a tree in the water. <laughs> Should we have a look? I think it might be a tree. Oh, maybe it's just a shrub. Maybe it isn't a tree at all. Or maybe it is a tree. I don't know, it's just a shrub of some sort. There it is, right there. Bit of a strange shrub. Anyway, all is good. But for a moment, it would be a tree. Right, so um, it's a bit of a curve coming up. It's a long old stretch, this. Massive section now without any sort of um, guidance in terms of uh, buoys and whatnot. We've just got to make our own route down here. I guess I just get to chill out a little bit now. I'm not used to that. I'm trying to chill out, <laughs> trying to relax and just be me for a bit. Turn off the Sim UK element of myself. And just enjoy the pleasure of uh, of this wonderful Sim. It's really difficult to do that, actually. Really difficult to do. I am uh, <coughs> eternally grateful to Nautis Home Ship Simulator or V-Step for hooking me up with. Um, a year's subscription for free so that I could um, showcase the game, highlight it and review it. And hopefully I've done that. Hopefully, you know, there's enough. I mean, I don't get many views on any of my videos, so, which is which is a shame, but it's not through lack of trying. Um, but hopefully there are, an, let's say, let's say a thousand people watch a Nautis Home Ship Simulator video by me, I would hope that the vast majority of those people are actually interested in having a real, authentic, realistic ship simulator, um, and that to those people I have provided good uh, video evidence and maybe uh, slightly prattly uh, commentary prattle on about nothing a lot of the time but you know I have to try and kill dead space and, and whatnot so I'm told 
Um, but what I hope shines through, regardless of any of that, is that is that Nautis Home Ships Ship Simulator, although still in early access, is very very accomplished, and in my mind at least, the most realistic ship simulation that's available today. And if they could get some sort of system set up whereby you could sail directly from one port to another port with maybe a condensed sea section, if that makes sense, then um, I think it would be probably you know, almost the perfect sim. That's, you know, on the back of having uh, vector charts and whatnot actually introduced and maybe a few tweaks to the AI. <laughs> but yeah, on the most part, I think the physics and the forces on the ships are superb. So I've really enjoyed making these videos and um, as much as they've been hard work and they really have, um, I'm just hoping that it's um, that V-Step and Nautis Home Ship Simulator at least feel like they've got value um, value back for um, for them hooking me up with a key. But to be honest, if you put you know a year's subscription together, what's that? It's going to be about sixty quid, and compare that to the number of hours I've put into this. They've not done bad <laughs> in terms of you know wages per hour they've done very well out of me but uh, yeah equally I've enjoyed the experience so all's fair in love and war and exchange is no robbery and whatnot you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours and so on and so forth right it looks as though we have I don't know what this is Oh, it's another one of those German pleasure cruise, river cruise things. Got to be careful of them, guys. They can be a bit unpredictable. As long as we stay to the right, I think we'll be fine. is so dry. Excuse me. Oh, I've been doing. I've been working real hard these last couple of weeks, and um, not been sleeping well. My eyes and my brain are. I think a, maybe a little bit burnt out. Um. Yeah, I should probably uh, take a day off at some point. Take a day off, you don't make any money. Uh, let's not go down that rabbit hole. Let's stay positive and focused. 
Okay, looks like we're returning to uh, an area with boys. Not really going to affect us much or change much. Still got 13.4 meters under keel, so. Under hull. Keel. Keel hull. got to do is not hit anyone or anything and we should be good Excuse me, so sorry. Ahoy there! Let's just take a, a moment to see if his uh, teammate is <laughs> flying up behind us at a rate of knots. Oh, I can't see anything because of this chair. No, I don't see anything. safe. Ahoy there! Oh, what's that thing ahead of us? Looks interesting. And what's that thing to the side of us? What's that? Is that a water tower or is that something else? It could be the harbour master's uh, office building, I suppose. Possibly. stretch. There's another one there, look. Two of them. I wonder what they are. interesting over there what's what's this what is this building silo door deck <clears throat> now there's a sign there look BHF 4 wonder what that means Oh, my mistake, there's not two of them. That is the same one that I was just looking at. Quite an interesting looking building, isn't it? It could be a Harbour Masters building. It doesn't look like a water store to me, but I mean, it might, it might be, I suppose. <clears throat> All right. 
Oh, we're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. I filled that section of water with a lot of prattle rather successfully. Before you knew it, we were there at the end of the channel. Now, <clears throat> this is where I'm going to run into trouble because I've no idea where I'm actually going. And it doesn't show me on the map. And I need to complain about this on, on the forum because every time I do a tutorial or all this, I, I have literally no idea where I'm going. In fact, I'm starting to wonder now, how the hell did I actually make it from um, <clears throat> from England to France in the uh, in the other tutorial? Where was it I was going? Dover to Calais, was it? How did I actually find Calais? I guess, I guess I'm going to have to watch my own video. Uh, if I haven't already deleted it, uh, which I may have done. That is a proper interesting building. And it kind of stands out because it's not generic like many of the other buildings. It's like... Important. I definitely learnt something from the uh, tutorials, navigation tutorials. So I can see that the vast majority of the boys out here are floating boys. There are a few fixed ones on land. The vast majority of them seem to be floating boys. Here come the boys. Hello, Dogger Bank. No, what is that? The Venadal. Exquisite. Ooh. Excuse me. This building as well, look. Look at that. That's pretty iconic, isn't it? I imagine that is uh, very much uh, an actual building at this location. It's it's too precise and unique to be. Um, coincidental, I think.
Okay, this is the final buoy before we turn into the next stretch and leg. Um, and all I'm going to be doing really is trying to find out where we're supposed to be parking because I have not got a Scooby Dooby Doo. Um, now, just in case uh, we run into some current, I may try and centralise ourselves on this stretch just a smidge just to give us a bit of extra wiggle room in case the current is going from uh, port to starboard we don't want to be crashing into the, uh, the key wall here check the head make sure there's nobody there I don't see anyone not any confirmation that there's nobody there, it's just that I don't see anyone. Nobody behind, oh, except for that ship that we just passed, that's fine. Okay, looking good. Excuse me. Ah, oh, I really am tired. I think this will be my last video tonight. <laughs> Yeehaw. sign of anybody just yet. Keep my eyes very sharply peeled. I don't know why, sometimes my brain goes off in a tangent, but I was just thinking about keeping your eyes peeled. Now, I don't know if I've heard this before, or maybe it's factually accurate and I'm just it's just popping into my head for some reason. But I feel like in the British Navy, maybe when they were peeling potatoes, sometimes they used to have eyes in them. Perhaps you know, they used to put their eyes on their eyes when they were asleep or something. And somehow that loosely got translated to keeping your eyes peeled, like when you're on watch or whatever. I don't know. If anyone's got information on that, or clarity on that, I'd love to hear it. I find things like that absolutely fascinating. It just popped into my head there, so I do apologise for prattling on. Loads of rubbish. That's generally how my brain works. I'm sure I'm not normal. But... Um, yeah, if you know the answer to how keeping your eyes peeled was that I'm sure it's got something to do with potatoes. Absolutely sure of it. But I just don't know precisely how. I'm convinced. <laughs> Utterly convinced. Oh, There's a bit of a bridge coming up. Nice. Impressive looking thing as well. Depth under hull or depth under keel. Twelve meters. Plenty of space. Okay, I don't want to go too close to the shore here because it's to be quite busy so let's just straighten ourselves up and head towards that bridge to 
some extent. Be careful of sh like like this guy over here. I was gonna say be careful of ships just popping out from nowhere. So what's this guy doing? It's giving us no information at all. Wouldn't be surprised if he came straight across right in front of us. In which case, obviously, I'm going to have to take avoiding action. Oh no, no. Okay. All is good. So I can see a ship coming our general direction. I'm a little bit more concerned about the bridge, but if he can fit under it, then I'm sure we're fine. What I might do is jump up to this slightly higher cam, zoom out somewhat, see if I can't figure out where the heck we're supposed to be parking. This environment it's just enormous isn't it so good so you can see all of our lights are on but nobody else has their lights on I'm guessing this is part of the early access thing that nobody else has their lights on Genuinely got no idea where we're heading. I wonder if I can have a look on my phone. Let's have a quick look. See if I can't spot it. and go into the main bridge section. That's going to be a bit tight. We're going to have to be paying good attention to, to uh, the ship's position. If that's the case, I might actually bring us a little bit further round so I can get a better angle to go through there. So the courses are online on the LXP, but 
don't think the uh, I'll say excursions, but they're not excursions, are they? Explorations. Whoa! Look at this guy. Now I don't know if the AI has taken into account the position of our ship, but he suddenly cut right across there and very close to us. It, <laughs> it would just happen to be whilst I'm on my phone, wouldn't it? So, um, yeah, that was interesting. That could have been a problem. Speaking of which, we're getting a little bit of course here. Why do I feel like we should go under the very, very difficult skinny section when there's a huge, much easier section just to the to the side of it? Why why do I why do I why do I feel engaged to do that? Is that lower? I think it might be lower. Oh, this would be horrible if I get this wrong. That is lower, isn't it? Right, I'm not going to go... Oh, God, I've really not left myself a lot of time to sort this out. No, I think I've called... I think I... Oh, sugar. I've put myself in a right situation here. It's going to be really tight. I think the bridge on the right is too sh short. I don't know that for sure, I just suspect it. Right, okay, I've got an angle. We can get out of this. How close were we to the edge? So we, hopefully we can see just how close we are. I don't think we'd have fit through that section on the left. bit concerned about whether or not we can fit through this section. I don't think our antennas are going to fit under there. Okay, they clipped. They defo clipped. How cool is that? I love going under bridges. Oh, shizer. In this game. Okay, we're through. I can relax a bit. But... Absolutely, this ship did not fit underneath that. Now maybe the antennas are like flexi, so they bend. They would bend over when you go through, but I don't know that for sure. Say, so, it's a pretty cool looking bridge. Hopefully you can see that on the video. Another one of those towers look in some sort of church over to the side as well. Right, so I am... <laughs> 
hugely out of position right now. I need to get myself back over to this side. So zoom out the smidge. Aim up. See if I can't figure out where we're supposed to be parking. I haven't got the faintest idea where I'm supposed to be going. quite a significant church right there isn't it but not every building is modeled accurately but some of them are and the ones that are I think are very good indeed look at that church there it's quite impressive Very nice indeed. Probably a cathedral rather than a church, apologise. Right. <laughs> was it further up the next channel or was it further along this channel? meters under keel oh hang on if I hit escape no. I thought for a second you might bring up the, the map at the beginning again but it doesn't Yo, yippee-yay, yippee-yay-yay. Yay. Gonna ship over to our port side. So is that an indication that we need to be heading that way? I don't know. somewhat resound to the fact that um, we're not going to find our final destination <sighs> just going to have to kind of guess where we're going Another little church coming up here, look, fantastic. The ship ahead, it looks like. Oh, it's a ferry. How cool is that? I haven't seen a ferry in this game before. Oh, that's very awesome. Oh, okay. I think maybe it wants to come into this section that we're uh, currently in. So let's just try and get between him and that other boat, because there's another boat there as well. Oh, it's all getting busy. All getting busy. I 
assume is heading over to that platform there so we can probably cut in quite close to him now and therefore leave enough space for this other boat any sign of a parking spot still nothing I'm hoping it's up there, maybe under one of the bridges. Well, even if we don't find, um, our final destination at least we've had a lovely journey seen lots of cool things like this very awesome oops um, car ferry here which I'd quite like to see dock and do its thing if I can Will the front action drop down? Or oh, there was a bang there. I think it was him hitting the key side. He's gone straight into the key side. And he's now going straight through the key side. Okay, that's probably not what was intended. And now he's disappeared. And now he's gone back to the other side. <laughs> okay, it's early access. Uh, some things are not fully worked out yet. That wasn't what I was expecting, though, I'll be honest. Uh, but he's now back over here again, look. It's a cool ship. What's that? Dutch there. Uh, yeah, so the car ferry is now back over there, starting his journey again, which is a bit pants. I'll have to admit, Considering how impressed I was when I saw the car ferry, I thought it would be nice if it was actually doing a cross-section route. The problem with that, of course, is that that would require all of the AI ships to have some sort of awareness of not only their own position, but everybody else's position. And that certainly isn't implemented yet. Still in review mode. I just cannot relax. I cannot get out of analytic mode. Oh, okay. So, although some of the buildings look fantastic when you're approaching them, the reality is a lot of them are 2D. You can't really see it. That's interesting. You can't really see it when I turn the camera. Only because I've got three screens and I can see very, I can see like out to the sides I can see that a lot of those buildings are 2D panels see when you look at them it doesn't look like that that's so interesting I guess probably all games have a little bit of that slide of hand going on I wonder if I can get a screenshot. Probably not. What about that? Will that work? Never mind. Oh, don't worry about it too much. When you're actually looking at it, they look... I mean, that looks like a house over there. <clears throat> see those houses they look like houses don't they but when I'm looking at it in 3d cam in in third you know out out of my left hand perspective I can see especially in this view that some of them are not in fact most of them are not okay totally getting distracted Did? 
It's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie, I lie. Oh wow, I think it's just allowed that screenshot thing to happen. Sorry about that, I hope that didn't screw up the video. That's a little worrying. According to OBS, I've been recording for six minutes. <clears throat> I don't bloody think so. And therefore, I don't believe it. Right. <clears throat> oh, oh, do I see a yellow parking... Oh, yes, I think I may see a yellow parking thing up ahead. Oh, we might finish it. Or it might just be a glimmer off of the electric pylons. I can't tell from this distance. I'm a bit excited now. We may actually finish this mission. It's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie, lie, lie. Really got to learn all the lyrics to the song. They're kind of good, they make me laugh, and they are brilliant when something is long. It's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie, lie, lie. I wonder what bridge this is. Quite a nice bridge, as bridges go. Basic, but practical, like many of the bridges in Germany, uh, in France, I should say. A lot of uh, World War II temporary bridges that were put in place in France remain to this day, which I find I want to say astonishing, but I don't know if that's the right word. It just gives me a sense of real pride and honour that it's lasted that long. Yeah, we are turning in here, guys. Woohoo! I'm excited. And there's another ship there. So, I've got to figure out <clears throat> when to turn in and where. side thrusters, thank you. So it's, I think it's the second inlet here. If I was playing Ultimate Realism, I wouldn't um, go and look outside camera. But still in early access, so we're, we're lacking a few things here, aren't we? Do I keep the speed on full? That could be a mistake, couldn't it? But I'm willing to chance it for the fun element. Keeping an eye on the depth under keel. We don't want to get too close. There are no buoys here to indicate like a shallow area or anything like that. There's nothing on the charts to indicate a shallow area. But as mentioned many times already, it's early access. So I know that there are certain missing elements that I have to take into account and think about. Right. Definitely going to slow down a nah, don't be a chicken. Don't be a wussy. Keep at it. Oh, there's a boat coming. Is there a boat coming? There's a boat there. I don't think it's coming. Let's slow down a little bit then. It's a lie. 
It's a lie, it's a lie, lie, lie. 3.6 under keel. Okay, we're getting a little bit close to running aground. 3.2, let's try and say centralized here. This is exciting, isn't it? I like this bit. This is fun. Right. So we're not going to have a huge turning circle here, so I need to really <clears throat> get this right. This is fantastic. Look at this. And I'm so glad that we found the parking spot. I almost went the wrong way. I don't think any of these boats in front of me are going to move. So I think we just need to focus on parking. Which, as we all know, if you've been watching any of the series so far, this is my least competent area. That and what the lights indicate, or what the sound indicates. I'm very bad at all three of those things, and I'm well aware of it. Let's hope I park nicely today. Be a nice end to a nice journey. feel like now and I've got my flipping headphone cable tangled up that doesn't help because we know we're going to continue moving round to that side up down to 24 percent because I'm getting caught on it all the time. Turning in at 8, 12, 15. Yeah, I think we're, we're kind of on it. The back end is swinging around quite nicely. I th I th at this point in time, I feel like we're going to park very nicely. But then I often feel that way. It's <laughs> just before it all goes horribly wrong. So the aft is going to continue going that way even though I want to go forwards now it doesn't work that way 
um, and that's what I'm not good at is understanding and realising when that is happening I don't know we're, we're, we're almost going in how I want we are moving ever so closer ever closer to the key wall which is not what I wanted I've got to get into the habit of coming alongside where I want to park and allowing the boat to drift in somewhat I say that we're, we're kind of almost going to do this oh, it's, it's going to be tight let's put a bit, a bit of bow thruster on there just to bring the front end round That's all I wanted. That gives me a bit of angle now to push against the bow to get the aft end in. I think that's going to work out rather, rather well. Probably my best parking attempt ever, I'm going to say. Although we're still travelling at 1.8 knots, which is a mistake. I should be at zero knots right now. Yay! Okay. I always panic. Sorry. When it comes to parking, my nerves go out the window and I turn into a big bowl of jelly. I think I just need to practice more, get a bit of confidence. So there we are. We have reached the Merwede Haven and uh, no issues to, to talk of, really. Everything went really quite well. Um, yeah, I'm well happy. Well happy. Should I be dropping an anchor here or something? I don't know. That's mission complete as far as I'm concerned. You wouldn't drop an anchor by a key, would you? You would, um... Um... Dock properly. Uh, and that's another feature that's coming to my, uh, Nautis Home Ship Simulator. I can't remember if it's the end of this year. Or the beginning of next year but i think it's within the next three six three to six months that's coming so <clears throat> there we go uh yeah okay so i may have exposed my anxiety and my nervousness about being a captain but we didn't hit anything and we didn't exactly get lost sort of Good job I had that camera above you though, because I, I, I really didn't know where we were going. <laughs> but still, <clears throat> that's a complaint that I'm going to lodge with the uh, the chaps over at um, Nautis Home Ship Simulator on the forum there. I'm just going to ask them if they could perhaps uh, fix that, because I think it would be nice if you could actually tell where you were going to go instead of having to guess a little bit. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now. Let the bass kick.